What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're taking a look at the new Asus Tough A14 that features the new Ryzen AI 9 HX 370, which has four performance cores and eight efficiency cores, or basically that's what it is. So it's 12 cores, 24 thread CPU in this 3.2 pound, 14 inch, super portable, more budget-ish friendly gaming laptop. Now, this can be equipped up to an RTX 4060, 110 watts in manual mode, 100 watts in turbo mode. So not the maximum theoretical wattage, but that's pretty dang close to peak performance for an RTX 4060. Now, they do offer a slightly cheaper version. So 1399 will get you the Ryzen 7 8845HS CPU, which is eight cores, 16 threads, but those are all high performance cores. So depending on the workload, it actually might be better. Now, the new Ryzen AI 9 HX 370 does have an NPU. So if you're trying to do AI tasks, maybe it's a little bit faster for that specific type of workload. From a gaming perspective though, having eight big performance cores in games like Battlefield probably will perform better than only having four big performance cores. So from a gaming perspective, it's kind of a mixed bag. From a general workload perspective, the Ryzen AI 9 HX 370 may be better for specific types of workloads. This does have Windows Hello with a 1080p webcam. The A14 features a QHD 2560 by 1600, 400 nits, 100% sRGB display, 165 hertz refresh rate. We do have G-Sync on the display as well as advanced Optimus. So that's really great that they included that. We have the new dual-sided power adapter that was featured on the G14. HDMI 2.1, USB 4, which is very high throughput, USB port for USB 4 docks and dongles. Then you also have USB A 3.2, a headset port. On the right side, you have another USB A 3.2 and a USB C 3.2 and a micro SD card slot. So from a port selection placement perspective, I do like that there are ports on both sides of the A14. That's quite nice. Now, this does have a very unique feature uh, which is the DisplayPort 2.1, which is on the USB 4 here. So there is very few gaming laptops right now in 2024 that have DisplayPort 2.1 support, which is required to be able to use ultra high resolution like 8K 120 Hertz or the 8K by 2K monitor that I reviewed the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 earlier this year, because uh, that has 240 Hertz 8K by 2K. So. Uh, overall, I mean, this is a promising laptop that should have good performance. The backlighting on the A14 is bright. It's more vibrant across the entire key, which is an improvement over the G14. I love to see that. There's also a co-pilot button on the A14. This is a single zone white only keyboard backlight, which is probably how I would use it anyway. So it's not that big a deal in my opinion, but if you liked the Tough series in the past with the single zone RGB, you'll have to go with a different Asus Tough model. If you go with the more expensive A14, that's $1499, you also get a 32 gig RAM upgrade over 16 gigs. And that's very important because the RAM is soldered on the A14. So there's no upgrading it after you get it. But on the plus side, there are two 2280 SSDs that are dual-sided support. So that's a lot of SSD upgradability for a 14-inch laptop. Since this is a 14-inch gaming laptop, the first thing you probably want to compare this to is the Zephyrus G14, which is Asus's kind of premier 14-inch gaming laptop. The thing about it, this one is, it undercuts the G14 by $200. So you get to save $200, but you have a downgraded display because the new 2024 G14 has an OLED higher resolution 2.8K display uh, that is obviously gonna be extremely bright, very vibrant, and have better color space with 100% P3 color gamut, where the A14 only goes up to 400 nits and 
it's only 100% sRGB. So this is more of a gaming general use type of display where the G14 could be used for graphic design and is equal to the highest displays quality uh, in terms of brightness, contrast, and color gamut. Another downside to the A14 is that this is a plastic trackpad rather than a glass one. So again, leaning towards the G14 being the better buy unless there's a large price gap. Another big difference between this and the G14 is the speakers on the G14 are gonna be a lot better. But in terms of saving money, if this one is priced lower than the G14, then that may be the one you'd want to go with just from a price to performance standpoint, or maybe you really want the new AI chip. But honestly, if it was my money, the G14 is, you know, has CNC milled aluminum chassis, it has the OLED display, it's a, a better all around laptop. So I would really only go with the A14 if you really are saving a good chunk of money. That's the number one reason to go with the A14 over the G14 or other competitors on the market. When this thing goes on sale for a thousand or 1200 eventually, and the G14 is like 1600, that's when this A14 is gonna shine at the current retail price of 1400 or 1500, depending on how you get this configured. The 2024 G14 at 1600 with all of those upgrades just seems like the better buy currently in my opinion. So that's a summary of the Asus Tough A14. It's promising, but currently I probably wouldn't recommend paying full retail price for it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm here at Computex right now in the Asus booth, but I'll be filming all of the new 2024 June laptops. So if you don't wanna miss out on that content, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon, out. Zah.